Shalom. 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 We're going to start off by giving all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukak, Wadash. Um, as always, double honors to the apostles of GMS. That's right. Um, salutations to the uh, the Akim out there. Um, shout out, big ups to our uh, camp head and our um, our elders in the camp. You know, from uh, Priest Taiwan Mayim, Priest Karak Al Kahan. Um, um, uh, shout out to the Priest Malak Bar and the Priest Baraz Al Kabar. I will are uh, the Shepherd of Beret camp. That's right. And pretty much, man. We're going to go into, uh, you know, just self-examination, you know, about great men that are in this truth, that who are walking this walk as our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And you brothers, um, I have men in the side that can't, that are able to take a level of uh, disrespect from you personally. And because they're given this ability you know, they're able to take this level of disrespect and not violate you back. And what I mean by that is that these men are moving precisely as Yahweh Shah is. They're able to self, they're like a, like a tree, is able to take carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. And that's what they pretty much are doing. You know, so, you know, big ups to these great men, all right? And they're usually the, the you know, the, the your, your elders in the camp. You know, because, you know, I, you know, not to go too, too much into detail, but you could do some dumb shit, you know, uh, um, and violate a brother, you know, and um, that brother could go tit for tat with you. But instead, what the brother is, is through the spirit and power you have by Shemi Abishai, he's like a mirror for you to see how ugly you are. Because sometimes, and it's not sometimes, but in this truth, you know, you could get heady and high minded with the knowledge and information and think because you're going on the highways and byways and praying and fasting that you're doing the right thing. But it takes a brother to be a mirror in your life for, for a situation to happen and you really see how you move and you're not moving according to what you're reading. And, you know, that's the Lord dealing with you, still rebuking you. But that brother is able to actually understand that this is for your benefit and not take it personal. You know, and, uh, and I just want to go into those men. And really, that's what Yahweh Shah was. So, you know, when you really think about Yahweh Shah, like he took a level of disrespect. Tolerated. Yeah, and um, that's what we kind of going to go into. So we're going to start off with Luke 2 and 35. You got anything to say, bro? You could bring it out. You could uh, go into whatever precepts you got. Yeah. You know, um, you know, we just kind of, you know, linking up in the spirit. And, you know, the most high, you know, want us to go into this. So this is, uh, you know, this Lord's world is edifying. So, you oh. know, for, for, for other brothers, man, especially I want to say yeah, brothers that uh, should be knowing better and learning. It's really for you, you know, really for us, you know, and to appreciate, you know what I mean, these men that are in your life, man. You know, and the Lord, Yahweh Shah overall. Okay? Right. So let's uh get to it. Luke 2 and 35. Yeah, a sword shall pierce through thy Let's own. uh move up a little bit. Well, one more verse. Uh -oh. Salaki. I ain't mean to, not physically. No, no, cool. 34? Yeah. Luke 2 and 34. Mm -hmm. And Simon blessed them. Mm-hmm. And said unto Mary his mother, Behold, right. this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. So Yahweh Shah is that child. So his duty his whole life was so many could fall down. Why do you think these men had to fall? Paul, what did he what happened with him? He fell off a high horse. Right? The Pharisees, a lot of people he had he had to fall, but my thing is, is they had to fall off of the disrespect they did to him. You see, he was set up to be that. He was set up to be that. And um, the rising, people would pretty much, you know, if you you uh, you make somebody fall, right? He is stumbling block. He trip you, but that same stone, he's allowing you to be able to brace yourself to get back up. 
<laughs> no, no, feel no way that you that you tripped and stepped all over him, but and then still allow you to brace yourself up off of him. And you got men. I'm telling you, you got men like this in this truth that are precisely in the movement of Yahweh Shah, that same body. And man, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakaka does for these men and Yahweh Shah for being this way, cause bro, we we gonna get it. We 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 grope in darkness, bro. We don't even know we be violating. You know what I mean? We don't even be knowing and and, and it'd be like, you know, careless shit. But um not to get too far off, let's finish that off and uh, we'll keep going. That says, that says, uh, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. I got you, bro. Yeah, we got 430. 430. Yeah, got you. 420. 430, yeah, brother. Yeah, all right, I got you, got you, got you. All right, all right. All right. All right. look, don't, don't let that touch the bushes, all right? All right. There's flames just underneath. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Thank all you. Right. All, all right. right, got you. Says, uh, the rising of Israel again for a sign which shall be spoken against. Verse 35 Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, right. that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. So let's sit on that because uh, it says that <coughs> the sword shall, uh, shall be pierced right through the so the thoughts of many hearts shall be revealed. So what was going to happen was. Yahweh Shah was going to be able to be this person where people's true intentions was going to come out. He was going to be that mirror. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, when you go into that, you know, because I was looking at it at the commentary, the ministry and the doctrine that he preached and the stuff that he spoke upon was going to bring out people's true intentions. It was going to let you see who you are for who you are. And that's what Yahweh Shah was, and that you have men that are actually these mirrors for you in your life. Yeah. And just really to think about that that mirror is so not so you could say that or that light, so you could see yourself and be like, you know, fuck, I'm a two-third. It's to see that no, you are a piece of shit. But this is the things that you gotta work on. And that's all these men are saying. This is that's all Yahweh Shah was saying. These are the things we gotta work on. When you really go into it, Yahweh Shah purpose was to what? For the it was the repentance. You see? So he revealed the thoughts of many. But you know, we just we just sitting down now and thinking about how much of a of a of a team caring process that is. Cause was Yahweh Shah um wrong? No, he was perfect. So why, why he he was he said this is my son who I'm well pleased. Why I got to worry about you for? I'm good. I'm good. I found good gracious in my father's eyes. You know what I mean? But now I gotta come around and show you that you fucked up, so you can get better. Not to not to shit on you. Not to shit on you. Yahweh Shah did not come to shit on anybody. Excuse my language, brothers, but you know, in these brothers in our lives, I mean, maybe elders, they didn't come to shit on you. Yeah. A brother is gonna always, and you be like, damn man, this brother, cause you know he's just giving. I can't match that brother, but it's not to shit on you. It's so you can learn of my, learn how to move like me. And yeah, we you'll never be able to uh, 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 do to that to that limit. Cause nobody could do what Yahweh Shah did at to that limit. But it is to do for another, or to move and get get on this pattern. And that's really all these brothers and and Yahweh, the Most High is about. He's sitting on here putting us on a higher level. And he course he's giving people, he is costing people lives. And there's only but so much the Lord is gonna give to you over abuse. I mean, he just cut you off like, all right, this motherfucker ain't getting it. You know? That goes for me. That goes for anybody, you know what I mean, who ain't catching on. You know, but we're gonna go into it. In Isaiah the 53rd chapter, how much the Lord took. And we're gonna have to look at that body in the kingdom. To see that this is this is what we did. Just so we can this is what he uh we did to him so we can get it. No, this is what he uh went through so we can get it. You know what I mean? And it's gonna hurt because it's gonna be like, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like, wow, you really did that. You really took all that abuse so 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 I could one day realize that I need to move right and I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That that cuts, that cuts. But 
you know, when you a nigga moving like a nigga, you don't realize that because you just about yourself. You caught up in yourself. You ain't realizing the abuse you're doing to others. You know what I mean? Especially people who care for you. You know, and you don't realize that they taking that abuse so you can see it. And then you get caught up in your feelings and think that, oh man, they gonna know they want you to get better. They ain't just picking on you for no reason. The Lord ain't just picking on us for no reason. He want us to get better. All right. Um. No, nah, yeah. As you mentioned come, that, come. just thinking as a man in this truth, this walk is a tough fight. So, you know, speaking on just what Yahweh Shah is bearing, you know, the brothers that's the elders around you that's bearing those things thing is only because the spirit of Yahweh Shah is on them. Come, come. Because when you know you 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 will fuck up and you just keep messing it up, you keep not getting it right. And it's, it's portraying an image like as if you're careless, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you just, and, and then, you, you know, it's, it's like you don't want to say, damn, brothers is just, brothers is just dealing with you. Like, damn, they, my brothers is just dealing with you and they not cutting you off. You just got to be happy and you got to be grateful that the Lord is just, is, that's the Lord's mercy. That's the Lord just, like like the priest is mentioning, he's, he's all the things that he's going through. Right, right, right. All the right. things that he's enduring. Right. Until, until he give you that axe. And that's the thing you don't you don't want. Right, you, right, you right. Yeah, yeah, axe. yeah. You don't want the axe because the Lord is going to eventually, when, <laughs> right. when, when the brothers cut you off, that's really the Lord cutting you off. Yeah, yeah. So you want to, you know, take yeah. those counsels, you know, yeah. especially speaking on myself, you know, you know, messing up all the time and, you know, uh, you know, showing careless acts and, right, right, you know, right. Realizing demons is on you, but then, you know, not, uh, you know, speaking on them things to get the demons off you. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and it grows. Right, right, right. And, 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 and you know, as, as well as myself as well, you know, but this, this, this acknowledge, this is right here to, to sit down and acknowledge these men. You know what I mean? And this process, this is to sit down and acknowledge these men and understand what their purpose is. Because a lot of times, yeah, you you know, yeah, oh man, I got to get better, I got to get better. We not realizing the sacrifices that these men are making. You know what I mean? As younger brothers, you're not realizing that because you so caught up on you. You so caught up the rebuke being on you, but you don't know what it cost that man to go through. That rebuke was on him too. But he just self-absorbed that rebuke. Yahweh Shah received the rebuke of all Israel. He received the rebuke of all Israel. We didn't, we took, you know, Israel, oh man, I got to get better. I got to stop. But Yahweh, what about what Yahweh Shah went through? Anybody acknowledge and praise, you know? So this is to acknowledge these men. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that was it on that one? Um, yeah. Okay. That was it on that. Um, What I want, what we could go to right now is, um. so Yahweh Shah did that, right? Now, what I want to go to right now is, uh, uh, just to show you that there was other men that moved like that. And what I want to go to is, uh, I want to go to, um, um, let me get, uh, Acts the seventh chapter, you know, right now I have my, uh, you know, that's in my mind. Um, but, um, if you could think of other precepts as well, sure. you know, also Isaiah 53, I don't want to forget that. Isaiah 53. Acts seven. Um, you get, get Isaiah 53, get Isaiah 53. And then we'll get Acts 7. Because Acts 7 is dealing with uh, the uh, prophet Stephan. Because I just want to show you that, you know, there was men. Stephan took, you know, huh? Oh, I can't, come. Whatever, yeah. Uh, you know, Stephan, Stephan was able to uh, absorb a level of disrespect. You know, we're going to go into the story. He was, he was stoned to death. And he said to forgive these men. So he was an example that the Lord set up, right? That was able to take an abuse, a level of abuse. So a man, by the, a man that was called Saul at the time, who, who name got changed to Paul, was able to get it. Yeah. <laughs> With no feelings aside, you know what I mean? Because that, that, that's, that's not a, a normal task to do. You know what I'm saying? So, come on, walking back. Um, that's not a normal task to do. So you got, you got uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 50. 53 and 1. Um, yeah, we could get to the point where, yeah, 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 you can start from 1, I guess. 
If you see any good points, you know, just straight to the points, you can get it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and you know, we, we saw that three. What, what, whatever you uh, see. Isaiah fifty-three. And whatever you see. Three. All right. It says he, he is despised and rejected of men. Right. So that's speaking of Yahweh Shah. So guess what? Yahweh Shah, right, was able to take a level of disrespect. The, 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 the spies and like I said you got you got men that are moved that are able to take a level of disrespect be despised my brothers until you until it pierced your heart to be like damn what the fuck why I'm playing this brother like that you know what I mean it's like you rejecting you rejecting brothers and despising them you, yeah when, um, brothers that give you a counsel mm -hmm. you don't take heed you don't take heed because it ain't hitting your heart it ain't hitting your heart yet. You won't even know. You ain't even, you're, you're not even paying attention. You so caught up in you that you ain't paying attention that they, they being violated. And it took death to do to realize that, oh shit, he was giving his life. He gave us food. He was making this happen. And we put him to death. We asked for a murderer over him. Because that's what you do. Some brothers, you choose, choose to chill with a murderer or a Barabbas or a liar or some fucked up bitches and, and shit like that, then a then chill with a brother. And guess what? That's that's the same thing Israel did. Until you realize the fuck shit after the fact, and then it's piercing your heart. But it cost, it cost, it cost them their life. You know what I mean? So you actually got men that are capable of doing that just so you can get it. Now, how much the value of you finally fucking getting it? You know what I mean? They must see something inside of the Lord sees something inside of brothers. These men see something inside of brothers that we don't even see inside ourselves. You know? So, you know, once again, it's just the acknowledgement of these men. They, they got apostle to heart. He goes on the highways and byways. You, you know, I'm just thinking about different things. I'm not in that in the GMS camp per se. And you know, but I can see. I watched the video and he was giving, you know, he told them brother, you know, buy, buy this lady a coat. They would give them money. Like they these are the same men that they're called rapists. They would, they took that disrespect. They called them, what, what they said? They said a lot of stuff about the apostles. But they were able to, they stood there to take that level of disrespect, stand on it until people felt bad and said, you know what, to lock it. And say, you know what, nah, brother, you know, now you guys just go out and push. You know what I mean? They, they, didn't, they didn't get in their feelings. They didn't, never got in their feelings. They, they took it. And, and stood their ground till people till people minds got changed because they understood that this is about saving souls. You know what I mean? This ain't about going tit for tat. You know, so you know, it says, um, uh, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Right. So this is where uh, you know you got brothers in the, that'll be in the camp. They be acquainted with your sorrows, with your, with your. They worrying about you. Worrying about uh, you know, you know what I mean? And they got shit going on in their personal lives way beyond that you got going on in yours. So yeah, they they got well and right to actually not give a fuck about you. Yeah, how was Shah had so much people trying to kill him? He had a right to be like, I don't gotta I don't gotta worry about y'all. Gotta worry about building with y'all. Then he trying to build with this, a traitor, you know, he's trying to build with Judas. He was around him, he kissed him on it, he did so much right by him. To the point where Judas was like, damn, I gotta kill myself. That's how much that's how much brothers now he knew that Judas wasn't gonna get it, right? But the point of the matter is that the Lord did right by men all the way through, just so you can get it. And when <laughs> and when it did piss Judas off, he had to kill himself. Yeah. You, you, come on, man. Brothers doing right by you and you disrespecting, bro. You would wanna, you know what I mean, be like, oh shit. But it ain't for you to, it's for you to get better. You know what I mean? It's for you to get better. So, you know, um, you know, we just talking through the spirit, you know what I mean? Lord willing, this makes sense. You know what I mean? Um it says, and we hit as spirit, it were sorry. it says, and we hit hit as it were our faces from him. Right, we hid as if of our faces from him. Like, yo, we didn't really want to be around. So it's just going into you uh our characteristics towards our savior. This is what wow. we did to our savior. This is what we did to our savior. And 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 he still came around. But how you know somebody, you know, you know somebody, somebody know that you don't want to be around them, but they still come around you. You know what I mean? Till you get it and you be you dust them off and you 
You know what I mean? And then they come around until you finally, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like they keep coming around. So that just speaks on like, it just speak on my situation, the transparency and the communication. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's like hiding. It's like hiding. It's like if you're not communicating with brothers. Right. If you're not, you know, getting up as 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 much as you should. If you're not being as transparent. Right. You know, it's like yeah, yeah, you're hiding your face from Yahweh Shah because if if you believe brothers came in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha and just like you made a powerful video about how are you able to feed the Most High, you know, um, if you're able to feed the Most High by taking care of brothers. You're able to hide yourself from the Most High and from Yahweh Shah by, by not right. being around brothers and hiding from, right. from brothers right. as well. Right. You it works in both ways. Both ways. You absolutely right, bro. Yeah. So if you if you if you violate a brother, you know, you know, and I I did something. You know, I didn't go into it in detail, but you know, I did something that this totally disrespected another brother beyond measure, and and y'all did that. You know, I did the video. And then did the act, did, did, did the, the wicked ass act. And then it's like, it's an oxymoron. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, and that's what brothers say. You know, brothers do videos and speak on things, but your, your actions, your actions show totally different. And that's, that's, that's not, that's no bueno. And it should hurt your heart when you realize what you're doing to these men. That's the only thing. The name of this is, should be uh, how to turn how to turn a stone into how to how to how to give a, how to how to turn a stone how um how to make a stone get uh, uh give a, how to give a stone a heart. Let me get that in Ezekiel. It say uh turn the, the stony hearts into the fleshly hearts. This is about giving feelings. Israel is so fucking cold, you know when. We're not going to go into the dynamics of the neighborhood that made us this way, right? But Israel is like these. You see this right here? This is fucking Israel. Fucking, excuse my language. You see that? Just a stone, man. And that'd be brother's feelings. That's why the Lord wrote the commandments in stones. He was showing you how hard-headed these, how we was going to be. I got to put a laser in these stones for you to get this. I got to put a laser in your ass for you to get it. What you think the commandments was about? We wasn't, that's why I say love worketh no ill towards his neighbor. If you love a brother, bro, you ain't going to commit adultery. You ain't going to lie to that brother. You ain't going to do anything to, and commandments don't got to be, it don't got to say thou shall not, uh, 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 set a brother up with something and then you take it back. It don't got to say it like that. But you wouldn't do that because it's that you, you wouldn't violate a brother. And the point of the matter is that the commandments death didn't have to be involved, but it's like you were so fucking cold hearted that nigga, I gotta kill you. <laughs> you, you, you don't you don't even care. Bro, what, what it, everything about life is about caring. The, the trees give off oxygen, the clouds give off rain, Every, the whole dynamics. The, the, the wheat give food Everything cares And then here you come You know walking around With no fucking feelings for, Towards anybody You know and I'm, and I'm speaking on self You know and, and, and Israel in general man You know You gotta get it together man You know um, This is um, got that? 11 and 19 Stony hearts nah. Yeah And I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you. Right. You see, this is a prophecy, man. You know, turn a, a fucking Project Brownsville baby, you know, ghetto, uh, 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 baby kid, you know what I mean, into a caring, uh, generous person. It's a magic trick, man. Go ahead. And I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you. Mm-hmm. And I will take the stony heart. I will take these these big ass. This is this is your heart. This is our heart. This is our heart. All right. What we did in Yahweh Shah, what we do to brothers, what we we this this is our heart. You know, a, a a block of stone, man. You know, you stand there with a stupid look on your face. Brothers rebuking you, stand there with a stupid look. Or you get hard headed, oh man, brother said this, man. That's not to completely true. You know what I mean? Cause you just you don't got no feelings. That you even violated, so you still worrying about your feelings. 
You still worrying about your feelings when you ain't even worried about that brother feelings. You know what I mean? You standing there looking stupid with the stupid face on. You know, and, and that's you, the block of stone, man. But the Lord is allowing these brothers. How is the most high doing this? He's doing this by you finally having feelings towards another brother. And the most high ain't coming down, going inside your heart, doing a fucking operation, man. He's using these brothers to give you a fleshly feeling heart. And some of you brothers going to take a brother to, the, the, you know, damn near. You're going to feel real bad if something happened to a brother. And then you're going to, oh, <laughs> you know, but you know what I mean? Hey, and, 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 and that happened with Yahawasha. It took Yahawasha death for stony hearts to get it. And we're going to get that at Acts the third chapter, man. When Peter finally cut through them, the rock cut through them. And he said, well, now y'all did this. Well, but you still got the opportunity to repent right now. And they repented and 5,000 souls was converted. But it took it took death and the, all the decisions. Yeah, you chose you chose this dude. You chose a robber, a murderer. And then they realized and I was cutting them. And you keep going. It says, and I will take the stony heart out of their flesh and I will give them a heart of flesh. Wow. You're going to care. That's what it means. I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. Not that you're going to care about the flesh. Your, 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 your stony heart is that you're careless about others. All right? You're, 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 you're cold. You know? That, that ghetto nigga mentality. Man, I don't give a fuck about nobody. Ah, da, 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 da. It's all in the rap songs. It's all in Jake's demeanor. The mean looks. You know? You don't care about yourself. It's all, it's all in it. It's all in it. It's all in our behavior, man. You know what I mean? All in our behavior. Not care about uh, uh, of the females, not care about your kids, not care about nobody. Just a just grimy ass nigga, man. And like I said, I speak for myself. But my actions, you know, this, <laughs> like I said, I ain't going into detail. You know what I mean? This video is not necessarily about me being into detail uh, per se, but it's to show that there's great men that are, that are around that take this level of abuse and sisters too. You know what I mean? Sisters too. And, 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 and you just over here, just, just, just a uh, 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 vibe like, oh, my rib was tough. There's a, there's a, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, brother. There's this, uh, I guess there was a meme going around and the nigga be mad grimy and the sister be like, that's my man. I'm sticking by him. That's oh, my man. man. <laughs> yeah, that's my man. I'm sticking by him. Right. But, but how long wisdom, wisdom ain't going to stay by you too long if you keep being a nigga. But you know, this, 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 uh. You know, they sticking by, man. They sticking by. Um, um, the head. Verse 20. That they may walk in my statues and keep my ordinance. Right. Because at the end of the day, the Most High is building up this army. All right. You know? And yeah, you, you can't, you can't. Oh, man, maybe, maybe, man, maybe I'm just a two. No. Maybe you need to get it the fucking together. That's maybe what you need to do. You know? Because then you, you look at these men. Right? And you'd be like, damn, these brothers got integrity. You know, that hit me one day. Like, damn, I don't even know if I can even do how these brothers doing. My actions show completely opposite the way these brothers move and the way I move. But that's not for you to say, I don't know how to fit. That's for you to say, I need to figure it out how to fit in. I need to figure out, I need to be this brick that I need to shave my ways down to fit inside of this church. To fit inside of this, you know, you're building this, this is a building now, you know? So different pieces, you know, different stones got to get cut a certain way. I need to figure out what shit need to be cut off me so I could fit inside this building to add to it. You know, whether it be the front porch decoration, whether it be the, 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 the little uh, uh, rooftop part of it, whatever it is, you know what I mean? Do prayer, asking the Lord, to cut through our ways to be able to uh, fit in this brotherhood and this body in the ad, you know? And to also, man, just sit down and reflect and examine ourselves, you know? And that's really what these rebukes, these corrections are about is for us to sit down because you be beating the pavement so hard, you never, you know, this society don't give you a chance to think. Instagram and this, it's all about doing at will. Do, do it without will, you know? Do at will. Do now. Get up. Oh, do that. You know what I mean? Eat this. I don't never tell you. I never seen a commercial that said, "Well, everybody, we're gonna take a break from all TV shows and we're gonna do one hour of meditation." You ain't gonna see that. <laughs> no way is show after show after this after this. It's just keep going. All right. 
Um, I don't want to take away from the spirit. Um, oh, God. It says, um, um, and do them, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. Right, and that's when the Lord going to be your God, when you got feelings. So imagine that. This is a God of, of caring. He said, you're going to be my people when I give you a heart to care for about others. So what type of God we dealing with? We ain't dealing with a God of idols. All right. He's saying, you're going to be my people when you care about others. When you get a fleshly heart to care, that's when you're my people. So you ain't the most high. It don't matter what, how much knowledge you know, how much you do, you know, uh, uh, videos you could do. When you start to care, all right, about offending the brother and doing the right thing, that's when you becoming more God-like. That's when you becoming God's, uh, per, 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 that's when you becoming an Israelite. An Israelite is meant to care. It's, about, it's meant to care about nature. It's meant to care about how you treat another brother. It's meant to, it's meant to care about yourself. You know, that's what it's about. Um, you got some? Oh, Acts 7, um... Act seven. You you finish that in Isaiah? Well, you can get to Act seven. Oh no, I ain't finished Isaiah. Let me get it. Oh, uh, whatever, whatever. Don't. Well, what, you get Act seven. Get Act seven. Get Act seven. All the way down at the bottom. Seven. The last two verses at the bottom, like last three. Last three. It's like right before Stephen got stoned. Right. I just want to kind of look at that story. Act seven. For those who haven't read it, you know, let's see what he said. Act seven and fifty nine. Mm -hmm. And they stoned Stephen. Calling upon the Most High mm -hmm. and saying, mm -hmm. "Lord Yahweh Shah, receive my spirit." Right, good. For sixty, mm -hmm. and he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, "Lord, mm -hmm. lay not this sin to their charge." He said, "Lay not this sin to their charge." Go ahead. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. He fell asleep. So I just wanted to go into that. There's men, right, that care. That was a man who cared. Right now, his his whole life. Was just for you to be able to see how fucked up you are. Yeah. You know, really, that's what it was. Yeah. Cause then who came in the truth? Okay, keep reading. Next one chapter. No, no, no. It, it should be in that verse. It should say, uh, um, a man let la uh laid start from fifty eight. Go to fifty eight. Stone clothes at a young man's feet whose name was Saul. Yeah, yep. first fifty eight. Uh, Acts uh, seven and fifty eight. And then give me Romans nine. And cast him out of the city and stone him. Mm -hmm. And the witness, the witnesses laid their clothes at the young man's feet, whose name was Saul. Right now, why you think that happened like that? They laid it on here. They, they, you was a part of this. You grimy piece of shit. You know what I mean? And that was gonna be where Paul was gonna get feelings. All right, that's that was gonna be that that act. Paul was going to now, a soul was going to now become Paul, right? And he actually was going to realize that, damn, I was going against someone who cared about me. But it took, it took, fortunate, unfortunately, it took that, 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 that process to happen. But now, due to Stefan, my frame, Stefan gained, he didn't care as long as it gained. And you got brothers that are, you know, even brothers, they'd be like, man, I ain't, you know, brother, I ain't there. But brothers say a lot, but them, they really care. And they, they spirit is always going to go all the way down into the very end. Because they, they, they ain't got no choice. Their, oh. spirit is, their spirit is like that. I don't mean you, you, you go that far, but that's how far brothers are going. They're going to go unto death, man. When they say striving on the truth on the death, brothers is going to die to actually, so, you know, Israel get it. They, they're going to go that, that Yahweh Shah did that. They're going to do that. And then he finally got it. And they like, you know, um, Stefan was hella happy that he they he finally he, he you know, a man got it. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? And he going they're gonna celebrate it about it in the kingdom. But it's like, damn, now 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 that's where Paul went crazy hard because now he feels bad. Now he has a heart of flesh. Now he cares about the ministry. Yeah. Now he cares about Stefan. I'm I'm sure he, you know. He can't wait to see this man in the kingdom to apologize, to appreciate him. You know what I mean? To take care of that brother. You know what I mean? And see, that's why I say you got men like that are here on this earth. Now that you're able to say thank you to water too and, and kitten, you know. Salaki, so uh, we got a, uh, you know, the um, park hours, you know, you want to walk into it. But uh, we're just going to continue on in the, in the car right now. And then... Uh, 
finish it off. Uh, got not that much longer. Longer. Um, time. Time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to hit the um the button though. Oh, all right, come. All right, all right. That's good. Water. All right. All right. So yeah, man. Um. You know, Romans nine, right? Romans nine, and this is for select men. It ain't, it ain't for everybody, you know, because they, you know, that's why the apostles say it's all about the elect, you know, because waiting for all Israel to get it, man, <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. Oh. You got brothers around you that you be around and ain't getting it. Imagine if you had to wait for all Israel. Sheesh. So um, so um, we gonna finish that um. What was that? Uh, Romans 9. Romans 9. And what? Uh, we can start from um, 1. Start from 1. Romans 9 and 1. Um, I say the truth in Yahweh Mashiach. I lie not. Mm -hmm. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Now, why you? Now remember, we went into the stony heart. Remember, yeah. Paul didn't give a shit about the uh, what they was preaching. Yeah. Um, if you want, you uh, which one? I'll read it. But, yeah, yeah. If you want, you know, just drive out the uh, thing. So, mm -hmm. but remember, <clears throat> Paul didn't. Um, uh, that's what Yahweh said. Uh, you know, why you kick against the pricks, man? Yeah. Why you? You know, you hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. The more you don't listen to the brother, the more you hurting yourself. The more you against this truth or you against Yahweh Shah, the more you hurting yourself. You hurting your chances to salvation, and you know you gonna hurt yourself, man. Cause that, you know, when it all hits you one day, it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. You know, you're going to be like, damn. And then you're going to feel bad, man. <laughs> hey, look at, like I said, look what Judas did. You know what I mean? He killed himself. He felt so fucked up. So bad. So bad that he killed himself. Yeah. You know? And, you know, this is, uh, you know, we just, we, we just talking through the Holy Spirit. But, um... You know, this 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 right here, man, brothers, man, we gotta really appreciate these Aki and man, you know, do what's right. You know what I mean? And not if not even for yourself, but for, for the sake of uh, of these men that are actually putting their life on the line. Yeah. You know, and and, and, and for the Yahweh shot, ultimately he already put his life on the line. You know? Yeah. So the value of you is what? It's another man's life. Like that other man could can and you know. Shouldn't have an opportunity to enjoy life. Like it's it, it revolves around you. You go straight. You know how they you say you say you man, you know, life revolves around you. Right? Damn, that brother got another life too. He shouldn't have to be chasing behind you and making sure damn he should be able to enjoy it. Now we know the ministry is set up that way, but you know what I mean? It should be some level of uh, of care that hit us to be like, nah man, you know, you can walk on the side, whatever, whatever you know. That we, you know, think of some precepts or something, you know. You know, gotta, uh, be, you know, trying to drive it, you know. Um, yeah. So we're gonna finish this in Romans nine. Um, I pretty much got a probably like two more, pre one more precept, and and that's really it. And if you got something to bring out, I, you know, you could go on from there. You know, I just, I just, uh, you know, global has come out through, you know, proper edification. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, continuing on, right? Con, yeah. Verse three. For our, for I could wish that myself were a curse. That's it. Now, that's the ultimate level. Now, I wish I could have went through that pain. You know what I mean? Now, this is this is the level of acknowledgement Paul have hit. He had realized what men have went through for him to get it. And now, guess what he's saying? He's saying, man, I wish I went through that so others get in. Paul did. Paul went through persecutions. He went through, I mean, that's why he was so hard in his truth, because he he felt an obligation. He felt an indebt being due to men dying for him to get this truth that he's saying now, damn, I wish I could go through hell for somebody else to get it. And sure enough, Paul did it. He's still doing it to this day, mm -hmm. right? But that's what he's saying right there, because... Finish reading that. For I wish that myself were a curse mm -hmm. from Yahweh Shah mm -hmm. for my brethren. For my brethren, right? Mm -hmm. My kinsmen. My kinsmen, right? 
according to the flesh. Right, so that's what this ministry is about, man. And I wish I, man, I could go through it so, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not saying he's seeking for hell, but he's basically saying, man, I'll go all the ways just so another Jake could get it. Yeah. And sure enough, he did. But this is this is what this ministry is about. So when you around these men, you got to know these are brothers' mindsets. So when you come in the truth, you know you're in the truth, you know the knowledge, but you don't realize how far brothers is trying to go for other people to get it. Not beyond just knowing a bunch of stuff. Yo, man, I'll study my ass off for somebody don't know. We talking about be violated, be mm -hmm. disrespected, put their feelings aside, and all of this just so you could get it and finally grow a heart and care unto death, <clears throat> unto death. So, you know, you know, um, Paul said in Romans, uh, first, uh, it's like it, first Corinthians 11, one, um, be follows of me as I'm a follower of Yahweh Shah. Well, that's what this thing is about, man. You know, it's literally about uh, let me get that Romans 12 1 say present your bodies out of the living sacrifice Well, you know, we read that scripture and a lot of times we think, you know, uh going on the highways and byways That's a that yeah, that's part of it. But We took about sacrifice We took about your life mm -hmm. You know your level of what you think respect is and going tit for tat with somebody somebody violates you No, We you talking about losing Paul have lost so others could gain. He said that. That's the type of sacrifice that's going into the truth. See, 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 as me coming into the truth, I didn't realize that. And I'm sure other brothers realized that that was ahead of him, but I didn't realize that. I mean, I'm reading things, but it comes a point in time where the, the spirit may start supping with you because, you know, you'll be moving crazy. And you'll be like, then brothers will be looking at you like, fuck you moving like this for? You know what I mean? And then you... Yeah. Doing reckless shit and then, and then you like, oh shit! I, I never seen a brother do do this to me or mistreat me that way. You might, and then it'll hit you like, damn, oh nah, bro, I I ain't even on it like these brothers is on it. I gotta get my shit together, yeah. or, you know, the spirit gonna kick me the fuck out. You know, so, um, yeah, read that. Romans twelve and. Uh, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Uh, this is Romans 12 and 1. Mm -hmm. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the mercies of the Most High, mm -hmm. that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right. Holy. Holy. Separate. All right. Holy. All right. You know, that, 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 that manner of holiness, all right, is to be doing right by somebody, right? And they violate you when we really sit down on this concept, you know? Oh, Jerusalem, oh, Jerusalem, that's slaughter to prop, kill us the prophets. They doing right by you. They telling you what's right, all right? But you dying for somebody else to get, finally get it. That's that's what the Lord is talking about. He ain't talking about, I did not hear Stephen say, y'all about me, I was just shalak right him. May the most high bring, no. He stood out there. And he took it and he said, forgive them. Because he wanted them to get it. He said, you know what? This ain't going, this ain't going to happen if I, uh, uh, you know, we just keep putting Israel to death. They not, I want them to get it while they're there. It, it matters while they're on earth. If Israel going to the spirit world, it don't matter. Because you got niggas down here that, that's going to look at them die, but they ain't going to get it. No, no, no. We want them to get it here on earth. I want their hearts to be fucking cut. I want to, when they die, they finally get it. Yeah, they fucking sob and, excuse my language, but I want them to sob, cry, and then get it, and then go out there and do what's right. Yeah. That's how Yahweh Shah was on it. That's how Stephen was on it. That's how Paul was on it. That's how men in today are on it. You got men that are around you that are willing to go that far. You know, they are going that far already. You know? They're possessed and with the Spirit of the Lord. They're possessed with the Holy Spirit because that's their duty. Even if they'll say, man, I ain't doing it. You, you know, we were here all the time, man, I'm cut. And your brother be right there still on it. You be like, hey, brother, you wasn't good. Nah, because that brother's possessed with the Holy Spirit. He don't have no choice but to care all the way into death. He gonna, you know, that's how he's gonna be. And then here you are just coming lax of days ago. Now, <laughs> I get this man on it like this. Of course he's gonna be offended. Because he's like, yo, what the fuck? I'm about to die. 
And you just come in with this doing some bullshit to brothers. You like, yo, what the fuck? When have I, you know, this brother like, damn, when have I did this to this brother? Never. You know, it just that brother ain't got no feelings. You know, but now is the time the most high is gonna start, man. You're gonna, you're gonna, you say you're gonna give them, like, them fleshly hearts, man. You know, so, um, and then it's gonna be your duty to do that now. And then you're gonna see, oh, wow. Damn, this is how it is to get slapped in the face. I had a pops, right? I, I, you know, I grew up with my father, and I, and I've, you know, I've despised my pops. I had friends that didn't have a father that, you know, you're possibly going, you know, and I laugh with them and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Level of disrespect beyond measure, beyond measure. He fed me, he made sure this, he, you know, did a lot for me. Then, you know, it took, you know, years later, my father, pops passed. And then I realized all he did. Then I, you know, I got my moments where I cry. I got my moments where I'd be like, oh shit, now I got to do what he got to do. I don't know how he did it. Damn, I don't, I don't got time to, and I don't feel like doing that for my son right now. I, I, I want to do me. You know what I mean? No, nigga, this is what I did. You know what I mean? I wasn't cool. I wasn't doing this. I wasn't doing that. I made sure I was. On, I made sure you was in the, in the boxing show. I made sure you was in the school. I made sure you was doing that. Damn, yeah, you know what I mean. Now, now you in that position, and you realize how much of a piece of shit you are and a fuck person you are because you like, damn, I don't even have the mindset he got. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like, damn, I I ain't even got the mindset like that. You know what I mean? Because now you in a position. The Lord put you in a position. Now you seeing. You ain't got the mindset like that. You you can't even take care uh, or be ahead of a camp like that. You ain't even got the mindset to care like that. So now you now now you see that because you being put you being put in that position. And, but now the it, uh the spirit, you know, it, 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 it now you're seeing that 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 that's what it takes. Remember the reason why um we are gonna get that in Proverbs. Give me that real quick. Proverbs four and um twenty. Say uh, light shining, but the wicked don't know what they stumble at. You know, don't be mad at you know, good, be good, you know, be glad. Yeah, it took a lot for you to see it, but guess what? The Lord put you in that just so you could see it. That's done now. Now your eyes is open. That's a good thing. This is uh, the way of the wicked is uh, first start from 18. Okay, Proverbs 4 and 18. Mm -hmm. But the path of the just. Is as the shining light. Right. Right. And the priest Karab was just talking, well, you know, you got these lights here. The path of the justice is a shining light. All right, keep going. That shineth more and more unto the unto the perfect day. Right. So you get better and better. You get the you know, it gets brighter and brighter. Mm -hmm. It gets brighter and brighter. That that's 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 really what this process is about. You getting better and better. Keep going. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. The way of the wicked is as darkness. Right. The way of wickedness is as darkness. Keep going. They know not at what they stumble. They don't even know what they, how they violating. They don't even know that they violating. So when you finally, when it finally hits you, you know the most high is giving you that light now. But now you got to, you see that. You see the light. Uh... You see it. But it caused that brother feelings. It caused that. It caused that. It caused you being in, put in that same scenario. Now you see it. But guess what? Your how about some y'all shot dealing with? You better be happy. He allowed you to see that. Now you see it. Cause these dudes don't even know what the fuck. Young Dolph got a hole in his head. He don't know what the hell he stumbled at. FBG Duck, Young Dolphin, the all of the you know <laughs> Jake all these damn animal names. But yo, <laughs> but yo, hey. They don't even know where they messed up. So how much more crazy is that? But you got brothers that's constantly trying to show you where you messed up, but you can't see it yet until you being put in that position. But now the Lord, right, is 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 uh and and, and until you really you know violate and hurt a brother feelings. But the Lord is allowing all of these costs, all these expenses, somebody feelings, somebody life, you being put in a position just so you could get it. How much is your worthy for you to get it, man? Gotta be thankful, man. We gotta, hey, brothers and sisters, we gotta be thankful, man. That This is a long, drawn-out course. Man, somebody, you talking about somebody's life, all right? 
being revolved around you like you you the stars and the moon and the earth and we all they say the stars and the moon or earth does revolve around israel but damn you know <laughs> so you know you know lord will man the most high sink his holy spirit in us for us to move right man all right but um that was it on that um that guy romans or um that was it on romans 12 and we were at 12 and 1 all the way yeah sat holy acceptable right mm -hmm. well actually yeah, let's finish it reasonable finish. service yeah salakia you know we jumping around preset upon preset but you know it's time for us to get uh not just know knowledge is when you know a bunch of stuff it's finally for us to have some understanding but in order to understand is to have a heart you can't understand shit Another person feels nothing if you don't have a heart. And the most high is going to, you know, you know, it's one way or another, he's going to pierce, brother, so, he, you know, you can finally kid. Um, All right. Um, yeah. Back at Romans 1, Romans 12 and 1, mm -hmm. I'll read it again. It says, I beseech you, brethren, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, mm -hmm. by the miracles of the most high, mm -hmm. that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right. Okay. Holy. Holy. Acceptable, acceptable. unto the most high. Mm-hmm. Which is your reasonable service. Which is your reasonable service. So you got men that know their reasonable service. They understand that. They, they they already, you know why I say reasonable? They already thought it through. They say, you know what? If I smack the shit out of this brother, he ain't going to get it. If I violate him the way he violated me, I'm only going to further this pain. They already know that. You got men that know that. You think brothers don't know how to operate in grimy mode? Hell yeah. But there's the, they're the reasonable service. They understand that this is the best outlook off of what Yahweh Shah did because they knew Yahweh Shah did it for them. But not only that, they thought it through. They said, you know what? Let me try this path. Even though I'm getting involved, let me just try to keep being good and being doing this and moving that way with this brother. So one day, it'll crack through his stony fucking head and he'll finally have a fleshly heart. It'll finally beat. Because they thought about it already. If I violate this brother, if I really just come through and stun on him hard, you know what I mean? Or you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, yo, man, brothers could go there, dude. Brothers could go there too. Brothers could yeah. cut brothers off, not let have you in an abyss too. You wouldn't like that. I know I don't like that when I feel like I don't know nothing that's going. You know what I mean? You already have a level of expectations of brothers being transparent and showing you stuff. So you already expect that, but brothers could go real dark mode. Cut you off, not know nothing. You don't know anything happening. You know? And you be a nigga like, ah, that nigga just, you know, sticking his head between somebody's ass. You know, in a push-up position. You're about to take a jab just to stay in part of the army and then fight against the Lord. <laughs> you know what I mean? All levels of shit. So, you know, I mean, man, I'm scared because, you know, it's, you know, and it's, you're supposed to be scared Because it's like, yo, we move no fear Towards these men Just because you ain't saying, you know, you think you ain't violate When you violate these brothers It says, Matthew's 18 It's best you hang a millstone around your neck, bro You know what I mean? So, um You know, hey man You know, man, Salaki for my offenses You know, and, and Duwada for, you know, the Lord Having this level of repentance And having, you know, these great men around that are able to take this level of uh you know disrespect and be able to still deal God. you know and that's not to say that these men ain't gonna rebuke you and call you out yeah but they ain't violating they at least they letting you know how they feel they ain't just going letting you know all right you know what i mean and moving like a nigga in the world you know what i mean and you know i'm gonna violate son watch you know what i mean yo yo what's up son you know what i mean and then just just be plotting on you all day <laughs> You know, so, and you got dudes I don't know. You know what I mean? I know that I done been around dudes like that in the world. You know, dudes that show one way and move a total another. You know, and then, you know, violate you, man. Violate you. And you be like, damn, but you said this. Yeah, nigga, yeah, I said that. So what? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and then it's like, yo, you know what I mean? And you like, damn, bro. You know what I mean? You be put in a situation that that's when them, uh, the murderous spirits come around and shit like that. Now you at war with somebody that know everything about you. Everything about you. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, damn, you got your life on the line. You know what I mean? Paranoia, all types of shit. 
They know everything about you. Know your family. Know this and they know that. You know what I mean? So, yo, man, <laughs> you got to think about it because there's there's evil out there. Somebody could just cause JJ. Hey, you ain't you ain't the only one. This old song. Oh, he said he said oh, he said um, hey, there's somebody thinking wicked too. Oh, oh what's that? Uh, what's that brother name? Um, Anyway, it ain't even matter, but you know, Curtis Mayfield, you know, he said, Man, there's somebody thinking, well, yeah, there's somebody who could, who could go to that level too. Yeah. Um, but now I don't want to take too much away. I'm just, you know, we gotta, you know, yeah, paint these scenarios yeah, yeah. to sit down and think about it because a lot of times we got this level of expectations for how brothers is going to move and how this is going to be, and the Lord is going to do that, and it's Rocky and this and that and the third. No, bro, it can't, it, it don't got to go that way, it can go this way. And how you gonna react if it go that way? You know how you gonna react? Cause you're a cardinal ass nigga. You gonna go? You gonna? You gonna? Oh shit! <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and be on it. You ain't gonna be the spiritual one. You ain't gonna take their stance. Hey man, I'm a, I'm a, all right. If it happens that way, man, I'm gonna stay spiritual. And nah, you ain't gonna take that stance. You gonna go cardinal mode? All right. So these brothers is taking a level level of, of thing because they know you're gonna go cardinal mode. Cause you already go cardinal mode. Self defense and this. And, you know what I mean? They already know that. The Most High already know that. The Lord already know, man. If I do that with Israel, Israel just gonna go cardinal with me. And you know what I mean? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna die on this cross. You know what I mean? I'm that's how I'm gonna do it. But now when you don't get after I died and do all that. Now I'm going to come back and violate you because there ain't nothing I could do for you now. I died already. I, what else can I do? You still ain't get it. And now I got to take your ass out. I don't give a fuck what you say, nigga. You're going to feel this fire. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, yeah, I don't really have nothing else. Uh, I guess, um, I guess, um, you know, uh, you know, pretty much, you know, conclude the sit down, but, uh, mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, uh, you got men. I'm pretty sure there's other scriptures in there, but you know we got these men in our lives. We got to be thankful for. We got mm -hmm. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We have elders, and everybody's moving in this. Let me get that. Bro. Oh, First Corinthians 11 and one, and they're moving on this pattern and how Yahweh Shai move, man. And you know we got to be thankful for that. Actually, let me get Acts three and sixteen, and then we'll end it off with there. Let me get let me get that Acts three. And, Get First Corinthians still, and then Acts three and sixteen, and then we'll end it off with that. It, it, unless you got something else to bring out, you know. Acts three and sixteen. 16. Yeah. Um. Let's start from um. Let's start from thirteen. Huh. Let's start from uh. Twelve. 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 Go ahead. Acts three and twelve. Mm -hmm. And when Peter saw it. Right. He answered unto the people, ye men of Israel, why ye mar why marvel ye at this? So check this out. Yahweh Shah died, right? By Israel, by Israelites, right? And then he was still giving us a, a men. These group of men seen their Lord get killed by these individuals and ain't ride out like, you know what? Fuck these niggas, man. They killed our Lord. I'm 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 fucking killing these niggas, man. No. They still went out in the ministry and said, you know what, now we gotta do what he did so mm -hmm. they could get it. I, this is what I'm saying The level of these men minds yeah. Now check this out The Lord is still healing He just healed somebody now mm -hmm. After they done put him to death So now Peter like Yo why y'all marveling Why y'all amazed how this dude was healed What's wrong with you dudes Keep going Or well, why look ye so earnestly on us As though by our own power Or holiness we had made this man to walk. Right? Why are you looking at us like we did something amazing, bro? You know? Go ahead. Verse thirteen: the power of Abraham and of Isaac mm -hmm. and of Jacob. That's right. The power of our fathers. That's right. Have glorified His Son. That's right. Yahweh Shah. That's right. Whom ye delivered up and denied Him in the presence of there's, Pilate. There's that mirror now. This is where Jake is. This is where the piercing of hearts. Yeah. Yeah, that healing. Because see, this is the level. I want to let us just sit back about the scenario. He had to still heal somebody after being killed. For these, for us dumb, uh, you know, us stupid asses to get it. I had to still heal this person after being killed for them to think about, oh, we, wow, we killed this person. Who, I had to do that. 
Because if they did heal him, they went in quiet. Yeah. But he had to still do a miracle. After being put to death, after being killed, I had to still do a miracle yeah. just so you could finally get that, oh, I mean well. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. You got men around that's like that. So let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> let's it keep says, going. Uh -huh. In the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. Right. Verse 14. But he denied the Holy One. Right. You delivered him up. Right. You denied him. Right. Go ahead. And the just. Mm -hmm. And desired a murderer. You asked for a murderer. This is what y'all did. Right. To be granted unto you. You wanted the murderer to be granted unto you. This is what you, you know. I mean, you did. Right. This is the this is what we asked for. Go ahead. And killed the prince of life. We killed the, put him to death. Right. Whom the Most High have raised from the dead. Right? He raised him from the dead. Right? Go ahead. Whereof we are witnesses. Where we are witnesses because they seen that. Hey, because the brothers who do, you know, do this ministry the right way and do that, at the end of the day, too, they know they're going to get a good reward. You know? Yeah, they doing it so you could get it sincerely, but at the end of the day, too, they ain't going to be played. They ain't going to just be put to death. Oh, <laughs> So you can get it And then you know They never get nothing You know yeah. what I mean They just rot Nah they gonna get a reward Yahweh Shah is promising them that Yeah Alright He's saying Yo I got y'all brothers That's doing them sacrifices Alright yeah. Keep mm -hmm. going It says um, It says um, Verse 15 mm -hmm. And killed the prince of life Whom the most high Raised from the dead Right whereof We are witnesses Verse 16 Right And his name through faith mm -hmm. in his name have made this man strong. So he like, yo, y'all did all that to him. And guess what? He's still healing people among you. Now, how bad you going to feel? Wow. You know what I mean? How messed up you going to feel? He, you did all that to him and he's still doing good by y'all. Now what you going to do? You going to try to kill him in the grave for doing good, more good? Or you going to finally give in and say, have a heart? And let's see what happens. Whom ye see and know. Yeah, you know this man. You knew this man was jacked up. Go ahead. Yeah, the faith which is by him have given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. That's right. That's right, because he believed. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 17. Mm -hmm. And now, brethren... I walk that through ignorance he did this. Right. So he like, I perceive you did this through ignorance. Because brothers, sometimes you're around men, like I said, you get comfortable. You don't realize who these men are. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you you you, you downplay everything. And them brothers know. Brothers know. The brother always said, man, brothers getting comfortable. They know. Lucky brothers know, man. Brothers ain't just like, yo, damn. And they, they know brothers be just dumbing out. You know what I mean? We so lucky that there's uh, so much levels of understanding on uh, brothers' uh, 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 um, knowledge. You know what I mean? You so you know what I mean? We so we, we're really lucky. You know, even King David had a level of understanding when you know he was being this. You know, he was you know a, you know this is that, and that's like there's a lot of things, man, that go into the, the go into play. You know, so um, Peter knew. And guess what, Peter? It was his king, David. You know, but he said, yo, it was through ignorance. Because remember, Peter was the type to cut your head off, too. But I mean, he said, he, he gained a level, you know, y'all dudes, dudes ain't no, man. He, he gained a level of understanding. Now, let's keep going. It says, let's see, yeah. It says, um, it's like, yeah. Come on, come on, it's cool. Uh, it's Read at 16, right? I'm reading at 16. No, no, I'm reading at 17. Mm -hmm. And now, brethren, I want that through ignorance he right. did this. Right. As did also your, your your rulers. As your rulers. The Pharisees. Mm -hmm. These other dudes. They didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Those you see? Ignorance. Ignorance. So we so lucky that the Lord can know that. Mm -hmm. Keep going. But, verse 18, but those things... Which the Most High before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets mm -hmm. that the most that Yahweh Shah should suffer, he have 
he had he have so fulfilled. Right. So they like, yo, listen, you lucky we un not you, lu you lucky, but you like, yo, yeah. we understand that he was gonna suffer this. Yeah. This was prophecy. Yeah. So even before you had it, you did it, you was going to do it. So they like they they on a higher level of vibration that bro, you was gonna yeah. violate. You know what I mean? We already knew. We already knew that. And brothers know that too. They 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 have a level of understanding that the, the wisdom is dealing with them. To know that. Oh, you're gonna get this. Oh, uh brother or uh, betray you, or brother do this, or brother do that. And brothers know and they're gonna have a level of understanding that because um, what Peter did was a, it was a short betrayal. It, was, it wasn't a level of Judas betrayal, yeah. but you're gonna have different situations that may happen. You, may, I mean, even now certain things you might be, you know, violations and you know what. But these, are, it was set forth to happen, and brothers understand that. And they're like, you know, this, you know what I mean? Beyond, you know how they how they feel, you know, but you know, You know, I, I can't even express it because I ain't in that. I'm not on that level to go into it in detail. But they know, they know the measurements, a level of, 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 you know, he not, you not like that. You know what I mean? You just, you just got to get better. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how they could see it, but you, there's some people, you know, the Lord, you know how they, most I give them that discernment. Yeah, to know that I, right, it's, you know, I mean, Lord, well, you know, you don't know who's a two third or a elect, but. There'd be certain things where, you know, they nah, this nigga ain't right. You know what I mean? Or, all right, bro, you know, you piece of shit. But that brother gonna be good, though. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> behind it, you know. Yeah. But they, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, that that's 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 uh that's that's something that they got. And uh, you know, I can't express on, but keep going. Good. Verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Repent. So what did he say? He didn't say kill yourselves. He didn't say you fucking pieces of shit. Give me your heads on a charger right now. No, he said to repent. Out of all of that, put this man to death. He still did a miracle. He just said, yo, apologize. I saw a brother want for you to get it. Not to say Salaki, but for you to get it. For you to feel it, get a fleshly heart and care. You know, go ahead. Repent ye therefore and be and be converted. Be converted. Mm -hmm. Change your route. Change your patterns. Because to be converted, you know, is with change. Now you got to change your, your route. You got to change the way you move. You can't be a stony heart. You can't be looking for self. Now you got to look at other, how others may feel. You know? And yeah, there's a, there's, you might not be, you can't look at, uh, you might not be able to do extensively how brothers could care about like 20, 30 different brothers, but you know, care this much. It may it may increase, you know what I mean. But cause you got brothers that could go far, you know what I mean. Like yo, you be like damn, I, I can't even go like that. But yeah. yo, but you know, stop about caring about yourself and care about the immediate. Care about this brother. That's why brother be hey man. Well, you should at least be caring about that brother. Yo, well, stop with one brother, man. Not to say you were gonna care, but I'm talking about like you know where you moving in that right manner. All right, and then it, 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 it is yeah, it is spread, man. You know, that goes for me and that go, you know, other brothers out there, man. Okay, uh, keep going. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins, that your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. Go ahead. When the times of refreshing shall come. So he said just to apologize so I can erase all of this, bro. Have a caring heart and I'll erase. I won't even I won't even think about all the shit you did to me. Mm. How much how, how much is that? That's hard body. That's a come on, bro. The, he, the Lord said he's gonna erase all of our I mean, we talking about death, bro. We don't we don't get no more. The reason why Jake be to be so much murders is because one Jake didn't forget about what they how they violated another Jake. And then so they go and kill that person. And then guess what's gonna happen behind the young Dolph thing? They then they gonna figure out who did that and kill them. Same thing was behind the pop smoke. Same thing was behind the Nipsey hustle. Like, you know, they didn't say, well, you know, yo, listen, we just want y'all to apologize and get it, and then we gonna let all this stop slide. That no, nah, that's 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 some um, that's some um, that's a higher level. That's spiritual. Cause Carnu is is was um when they say, yo, man, somebody kill you, you kill them. You know, like when it was saying in the law, 
Because the most I was like, yo, this is a different method. The Lord was like, well, maybe you would care about yourself dying. You know what I mean? You would care about yourself dying so you wouldn't kill. Or you would care about yourself being put to death so you won't commit adultery. You know? But then some niggas didn't care. So then they had to kill an animal and sacrifice and shit like that. They still ain't care. Like, damn, nigga, you don't care about yourself. So now you know what? Let me try this method. Let me die. Still be doing miracles for you and then see if you care. You know? And that was the method that worked. But it only worked for the elect. Yeah. You know? Salakia, so um, we're going to finish it cool. off, man. Um, when the time of refreshing shall come from huh. the presence of the Lord. Verse 20. Um, yeah. So, um, and he shall send Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. Whom the he the heaven must mm -hmm. receive until the times of restitution right. of all things. Of all things. Everything's going to be repaired. Relationships is going to be repaired. The kingdom is going to be repaired. Because Jake always talk about these reparations. First reparations is going to come when we start to care about one another. That's the first part of the restitution and the reparations of the repairing. Mm -hmm. When we start to care about one another's feelings. Yeah. That's where it's going to start. And that's how we're going to repent. By apologizing. And after we get through with that process. Right? And we apologize. And we treat one and treat our neighbors like ourselves. And walk in these Lord's statutes and commandments. Right? Mm -hmm. When the Lord come. Everything is going to be fully repaired. Okay? Because we're going to understand how this earth is going to operate. It's going to operate off of the system of having a heart. Right? Caring about nature, let's give it a break. You know, nature needs a break. You know what I mean? We can't just take, take, take. You know, this person is less fortunate. Let's give. You know what I mean? Um, that's right. Uh, that's that's pretty much. much. Yeah. It says, um, which the Most High have spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Right. And the Most High been talking about this. So, not only that. This ain't our first time hearing it. He's like, yo, the Lord been telling you this shit from the... Not shit, but the Lord been telling you this from the beginning, bro. Mm -hmm. This ain't nothing new. I'm talking the same thing I said from the beginning. You just still ain't get it. <laughs> like, like, yo, I've been talking about this. <laughs> like, you've been talking about this since the days of the beginning, bro. By Israel Penn, doing what's right. The stony hearts, they didn't get it. They didn't get it. They had to... We had to figure out heart. these minute, yeah, these methods of giving a stony heart a fleshly heart, and it took death through somebody who cared, and it's showing you they still doing miracles and still looking out for you, you know, after they die, you know what I mean, and then bringing to you and showing you what you did to them, without fully laying a judgment on your ass, yeah. and then you like, wow, nah, I got to change my ways, and that that's what we, you know, where we at with it, man. So, you know, uh, we just, you know, through the Holy Spirit, Lord willing, it was edifying, you know, about this topic. Um, you know, pretty much, man, uh, the Lord is, you know, brothers with these stony hearts, man. He, you know, we got to pay attention to see, you know, what, you know, the Lord did for us and other brothers are doing for us, man. What they going through, man. You know, start to have a care, you know, and then that's going to lessen your offenses. And that's going to make you move in the right direction and, and then do... For others that our brothers is doing for you, and that's how you gonna bring forth fruit. You know, you can't bring forth fruit when you when you careless. Huh. You know, because how you gonna tend to that tree? How you gonna give that tree water, sunlight, spend time to it, talk to that tree? You know what I mean? When you when you ain't even doing it for yourself, or caring that somebody appreciating the person who's doing it to you. Yeah. So you know, uh, I don't got nothing else to say. If you got anything, uh, no, no, that's pretty good. Con. All right, so uh, with that being said, man, as always, we're going to give all praises and all glory and all honor to our Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Kodesh. All right, and again, you know, we're going to give double honors to our apostles of GMS. You know, we're going to say to water to those apostles, our elders, man, for being diligent and being these great examples. And also, the, you know, the camp heads and the, the, the elders in our camp, Shepherd of Berea, you know, it's a water to them, man, for, you know, constantly, constantly, constantly uh, being there 
and um, you know, uh, enduring, you know, with brothers, man, having patience with brothers, man, you know, amid stuff going on in their lives, man, you know, so the water. And um, with that being said, man, you know, may uh, the Lord raise us up, man, to be and fit in his ministry the right way. With that being said, call me a shala. Call me a shala. Call me a shala. Until next time, shalom. Come on.